Hey everybody, it's Firmware Friday and we got some new firmware for the GT. Uh, so I tested it out today. Um, most noticeably uh, to me, they completely fixed the, the gnarly tail drag. Um, before, any time the tire caught a little bit of air time, whether that was just hitting a bump or doing a little drop off a curb, uh, upon landing, the tail would just go straight down to the ground and uh, sometimes drag the ground, which can be really dangerous. Uh, on this new firmware update, they fixed that issue pretty much as good as I could have imagined. Um, I didn't notice any tendency for the tail to slam down upon landing. Um, so they really knocked that one out of the park. Um, as you can see, well, yep, there's a um, little bonk with no tail drag. As you can see, I'm still a little wobbly on the GT. It, you know, it feels a little high and um, the tire is a little tippy, a little more um, wobbly than I'm used to. So yeah, full disclosure, the GT still not for me, but uh, no matter how much you liked it before, I think you're gonna like it a lot more with this firmware update. Um, they improved the pushback a lot. Uh, when the GT came out, it had pretty intense pushback that started at 19 miles an hour and was pretty much full Captain Morgan by 20 miles an hour. Also, there was this very fine threshold, let's say 19.5, where if you were going, say 19.6, it would immediately jump into full pushback mode. And then if you went 19.4, it would uh, immediately jump back to fully flat and it would give this teetering effect where it basically felt like you were balancing the board uh, yourself. And this very sudden pushback is what people mean when they refer to pint style pushback. Now with this new GT update, the pushback feels a lot more like XR style pushback where it is very gradual. After I filmed this video, I went out again without the camera fully padded up just to do a little top speed test and all three modes seem to have pretty similar pushback apex highline and flow they now all start at around 19 miles an hour by 21 it's starting to get pretty uncomfortable for me at least and i didn't push past 23 i really don't like pushing through pushback at all uh, but there are a lot of people who push 25, 26 miles an hour today. I can say that at 23 miles an hour, it still felt like it had a lot of available torque. So here I am doing a little ghost ride test. When the GT first came out, you could ghost ride it really, really far. Um, and that's not to be confused with ghosting. A ghost ride is when you jump off and you give it a little gas just to send it and push it forward. Um, and when the GT first came out, especially riding backwards like I'm doing here, you could just send it so far. Uh, with this new firmware update, pretty much as soon as you jump off, it'll roll a couple feet and then the motor will lock up enough to, you know, just to provide resistance to keep it from rolling. Ghosting is when the board actively powers the motor with no one on it at, you know, 20, 30 miles an hour. Uh, that is a separate issue that I know they're working on. That is caused by a faulty foot pad most often. That's unrelated to the firmware update, but the, the new shortened ghost ride capabilities could be a positive or a negative depending on how you look at it. It's a negative for doing tricks, uh, but it's certainly good if you jump off your board near the edge of a cliff. So yeah, this update was a huge improvement. Um, the one disappointment was that there's still no custom shaping, but I'm sure that'll come soon. And I think it's important to realize that this update couldn't have been done without the help of the community. Like they actually listened to the community's concerns and their feedback. They got some of the best riders out to Santa Cruz to test the board make changes to the firmware, test it again in real time. So I really do see this as a good step forward. And I'm hoping that this means they also start to listen to us about 
the right to repair and the right to mod our boards, um, you know, that we've been fighting for. That's pretty much all I have to say about the new firmware, so I'm just gonna let some music rock over the rest of this footage. Thanks for watching.